Hey my friend Jean-Serge Gagnon so today we're going to talk about chatbots and what is the best chatbot for your website you might have heard of chatbots maybe you're wondering what are chatbots anyways and chatbots I'll tell um well yeah so chatbots are pieces of software that will interact with your visitors as a kind of on the side pop-up thing maybe it depends on how you set it up but basically it has conversations with your visitors to guide them through the steps that you want them to go through so that they maybe get on your list or maybe buy your product or maybe you tell you guide them and capture their name and number so that you can add them to your sales funnels and call them you know maybe your sales team can call them make them hot hot leans warm leads, right so that's what a chatbot does and there's a, you you probably seen chatbots in Facebook a lot there's uh, there's messenger bots right that will send you messages and you can have broadcast emails sent out to everybody that's on your messenger that's a separate thing but with Facebook messenger they also add that component to it as a feature today we're just going to talk about a chatbot that goes on your website either on your blog or on another website I'm going to show you examples of what I've done and we're going to talk about chat bots and what is the best chatbot for your website all right we'll get into that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets so if you're asking yourself what's the best chatbot for my website you might be thinking there's got to be a best one out there right and I'm going to be honest with you I'm going to say well you know what there isn't really a best one I mean it really depends on what you're looking for what your features you're looking for and I can I can only show you the stuff that I've used and what I've done and why I like it right and sure I'm hoping that the one that I like is the one that you like and all that but at the same time I'm going to show you a little bit about what the differences are with the different chatbots I'm just going to show you kind of how I found the one I'm using and and you know like I said why I like it so let's just get right into it I'm going to share my screen here I'm actually going to show you uh the you know like if I go say well let's just start with this sure let's start with this so if I go on Google right and I just say you know chatbot if I just search for like say chatbot for my website right I'm going to see a bunch of ads right first of all you got to remember that anything that says ad in the front is an advertisement it doesn't necessarily mean it's better or not uh, or not better it could be great but they're they're paid promotions right so I usually just skip over those unless I, I it's exactly what I'm looking for kind of thing then I go through the list of things that aren't um you know um ads right most of these as you can see they're not ads then there's a bunch of ads down here right but say there's free chatbot software and then there's some that are paid and any of the free ones usually have a paid plan as well uh for me I've been looking at I've been using mini chat right mini chat is a is a chatbot for for windows I have not, not windows for for Facebook uh for Facebook and it's a it's a it's a, a chatbot that will interface with your um, people that like your page right so it's it, it's all tied to Facebook and it's great and it gets you it, especially when I first started it a couple of years ago three three years or so ago I started using it I was getting lots of great results lots of open rates lots of people connecting and commenting but the thing that I found is over time since maybe a year or two ago when they changed they changed a bunch of rules they made it a lot more difficult for people to actually start but that's because people starting to be conscious of it and they started to be you know blocking and they started to react to to getting too much too many chats and that kind of stuff right so that became less appealing to me and I kind of stopped using it plus I had issues with my my Facebook pages being blocked and Facebook marking my stuff as as um, you know not okay and may, may even making it so I couldn't even do ads on Facebook so Facebook is less less important for me now um and the thing is that so okay so let's just get into it right now so if I just look at any of these uh you can look at let's just say how to create a chat button for my I don't even know right I, I'm just going to click this I don't know what it's going to show us but this is a page here where it talks about you can use chatbot builder 
and he says to recommend land bot I don't know what that is uh there's and this person recommends that one and then there's menu chat bots and there's all sorts of different things as you can see there's so much stuff no dialogue flow amazon's lex ibm watson etc compose bot there's so many of them right and the thing is that what did I what how did I I wasn't really looking and then I saw an ad lo and behold on Facebook for a chatbot I thought oh that's a pretty cool chatbot and I just looked at it a bit and and really loved it so I started using it so I'm going to show you what that is it's uh and in and, and let's just go right now to show you what that is I think I actually think I have a tab open with that or maybe no I don't remember I got a whole bunch of stuff going on let me just go back to my webcam I just want to look and see and find what I got here I do I'm pretty sure I had one right here is that it here no that's not it um that's not it that's not it okay well let's just open up a new incognito window let's just do it like that go incognito window make it simple whoops go like this go like this and whoops still oh, still 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 come on there we go we got it we got it we got it okay webcam go back to the webcam there you go desktop I mean okay so let's just make this fit the whole screen here and there we go okay so now when I go this is the one I'm using uh so I'm using this one it's called conversio bot um just showing you if you go to there basically if you go to where is it so if you just go to info.myconversiobot.com you're going to come up with this page it kind of shows you what the bot does but you know obviously it's a sales page but it's really it really got my attention when I first looked at it and as you can see it does a lot of stuff it integrates with a bunch of things and uh, it's it's uh, it's really really cheap it's like nothing right one time they, they still have a one-time deal right now I don't know how long this can have right now it's showing expires and you got a 10 percent pro coupon here uh not sure if you're going to see that coupon when you watch this or when you go to this page but uh they have a demo and they even have a, they even have the bot right here on the on the side oh actually my my face in the way let's move my face up a little bit they even have the bot right here on the side down the bottom here that basically if I click on it it'll pop up the the there they call her Carly right it's Carly and then it's it start talking hey it's 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 easier than you think and then it's asking me do you want to set up a chatbot for your business it gives you an actual demo kind of how it works right if I close this and then I try to leave the page it'll pop up a oh don't leave yet it's you know oh, don't leave I'll give you a better deal now what if you could do that on your own website and I actually that's what I that's why I liked it because I saw what they did and I was like oh that's cool I'd like to do that so on my own website if you go to my blog jeansaugegagnon.com right if you go to my blog here on jeansaugegagnon.com you're going to see I have a little chatbot down the bottom here right I've got a little chatbot if I click on it it will pop up a chat it will show me welcome to my blog do you have time for a quick chat I'm going to say sure and then it's going to ask me you know my name is Jean Serge and I'm, uh, I'm uh, let's just say test tester and it'll just say hey tester how are you nice to meet you and then it'll ask you know what do you need from me today what are what can I do what can I help you with and this is all just I just built all that really quick and so how does that work right so let's just go and you said the pop-up there that showed up let's just go to my conversion bot uh, actually it's just conversion but let me just see it's conversion oops okay so when I go to the the actual platform I can log in here and let's just say over here remember me so when you go to the platform you basically just have the uh you can have um well this is the dashboard here it shows me the some of the bots I have um and I go to my bots over here 
shows me all the different bots I created all folders I'm just going to go like click eCourse folder or let's just go to my blog my blog so on my blog I currently have two two blog pages and I also have I guess uh I do have some more the original ones which I probably should move to the other to the other folder um but the, the these are the ones I have so if I go to this oh actually that's not the one I should probably show you the one here let's go back to the bots I should probably show you the main one so this is the main one this is the main chat and it's really simple to build as you can see it looks pretty complicated right all these different all these different things let's um let's make it all oh, oops the whole thing you can see that it's quite the it's quite the the thing right here right so it's it, you've got all these different things all these questions all these so that's pretty complicated that but you can do that pretty simply it's just a question of just putting one block and then going to the next block and the cool thing about this chatbot is that it'll work on a wordpress site and any other website that you are able to put in a header code right so if you've got a website that you can put in a header code you can use this chatbot on that website you can choose to have the bot let's say I go to the settings here you can choose to have the bot show up on the right or the left I don't know if there's more than one let's see design uh, this is no it's design I want to go to on the design I can say the bot design position is left or right so it'll either be on the left side or the right side of the screen you can also change whether the when when you have a full page bot because you can use this as a full page bot as well which is completely you know just one page which is just conversation you could set it up that way you could set it up so that when somebody clicks a link they see just your full just the full page of just the bot right there's nothing no other distractions um overlay text is what shows up when you're like mousing over the bot right you can change the overlay text you can say how it can help you you can say how you're doing you can say hello click me whatever you want right it'll be what shows up on the bottom like if I go here and I close this and I reload the page I have it set so that it says how can I help you right how can I help it says how can I help and with the number right there is two it shows that's the number of you can have it show notification count two or 20 if you want or whatever you want obviously you don't want to make too much because it looks but it kind of shows it looks like there's these number of messages available to show right the other thing is you can actually choose different um you know different oh that's not the right one that's this one you can actually choose different bots like you can see right here it changes it no matter what you choose you can choose different pre-loaded pictures or icons or robot looking people right or you can upload your own image and <coughs> and and you can even put a gif there that's what I did I did a gif and that's why when you look on my page you can see it's my hand going like this I just did a, a little video of me doing this and then I converted it to a gif there's tools online to do that so now I have a gif so it looks like hey it kind of gives the person a can hey you want to you know look at that anyways whatever you do what you want you can say hello you can do you can do this you can do whatever it can be an image it's a gif right it can be whatever you want and so yeah so you can do that what else can you do uh, secondary overlay text that's after you've started the conversation say if I go here I click on this and I start a conversation right welcome to my blog do you have time sure now if I close it I'm not done it's asking me for my name right now and I just close it I'll say Frank if I close it it's supposed to show I guess there's I don't know what's but it's supposed to show the other text unless maybe I'm, I didn't save it but yeah that's what this is for continue chat right here is what's going to show up when you've started the chat and they and then uh, you're closing the the chat bubble right the other thing you can actually change all this stuff you can change the default the message bubble to be as you can see right here the different shapes oops default to shape one right you see this changes a little bit shape two it's like this and then shape three I don't know yeah this is similar except for this I guess it's got a little like a little mark there okay and then uh shape three let's do that and then bot message is the color right you can change the color of the bot you can make it like this 
whatever color you want right let's make it make it there we go make it like this I can change the message text to a different color as well which is white right now actually it's the other way all oh, right it's like up here right so there I don't know whatever if I can change the sub message text to I guess it's the text down underneath here right and I can do all that right then I can also change the user message same thing right I can change the background for the user message to be like I don't know let's make it pink or purple there you go and the text itself I can make it uh, oh that's the text inside that is that white mm -hmm. it's too white there you go there and now that looks you know yucky or whatever I can then I can save it and launch it if I want I'm not going to do that I'm just going to abort that I go but anyway so you can do all these different things with your bot you can change the background color too you can change the color of each of the text you can change the um the the icon that shows up right all these things and you can have a bot for all your different things like as you can see I have a whole bunch of different bots why do I have a bunch of bots well because I also have this uh, course site right click ecourse so if I go to click ecourse I set up this is a website it's not a wordpress site it's a website that I built but that you can uh, set your own bots for your own courses so right now this bot is the default bot for the site so if I go to say for example well here let's show you so this is the default bot right right over here's the default bot that's so the site itself has its own bot uh, that's how I set it up it has its own bot and it say, says the same thing welcome to Click eCourse site right but if I go to a course like I think this one I have a special bot for it I click on this bot is it the same one or no I forget whether or no I see that's the same one so that's not the one I have a if I go back to the courses I just I know I have one for TikTok masters I think if I click on this one yeah there you go so I this is this is a TikTok one and right now I actually don't have it I keep forgetting I gotta go fix this but th this is a special so for this course I'm the creator of the course you you as a course creator you can have your own bot for your course specific to your course and you can do things like give them coupons and actually I think I have one on the LinkedIn one LinkedIn connection growth secrets this one here I actually have a bot that actually gives them a coupon and things so a C welcome to LinkedIn course connection growth so you have time for a quick chat I basically ask them what do, what do they want my name is this I'm Frank sorry and so they you know have you questions on LinkedIn I'm gonna say yes and then I can say okay what's your question so how do I grow my account right that's the question I have and then it's gonna well actually it's again it's not finished this one here should be asking them back their name and things like that but the thing is that the cool thing about it is that now I have a bot that's on this page and if I try to leave the page I have a next pop-up as well oh no don't leave don't leave sure what's the deal can I sweeten the deal for you right so I'm asking them if they can give them the deal it's a 150 dollar course what if I gave them a special deal on this course right if I if I go back here and I reload the page and now I leave again you can see what it's going to say it's going to say what's sure what's the deal and then I'm going to say well great uh but I need your name what if I could get this course for 75 dollars right so right now during this session though you navigate away from the stage you may never see this sweet deal again would you like to have the coupon sure right so you can do things like that with people on your course specifically to that course it's not even going to talk about other things it's just that course you're on the LinkedIn course they they clicked on the LinkedIn course they're interested in LinkedIn so you talk to them about LinkedIn right and that's that's what this is this is right it's just um course coupons or things like that that you can give for specific courses right uh so what else so that's 
uh, and how do I do that inside a conversion bot I got this uh, folder here I create a folder called uh, my LinkedIn courses I've got main LinkedIn course for students oh the other thing is on the course site if you're a student of the course you won't get this this chat bot it won't be the same one because you know if you're a student you already bought the course why would I be bugging you about offering you a coupon right so I have a separate student one which is different if I look at uh, let's just look at the uh, let's look at the, the, this spot here what does it look like right basically it's just this simple pop-up I want to know yes what's the deal so if I click on this you can see what it looks like basically it's got an image then it's got text let's re let's make this a bit bigger let's resize this back to this normal size and I'm going to make my I'm going to move my myself down the bottom of it okay so uh over here you've got the text and then you got the question and then that's it so but before it goes on to the next question or comment or you know or whatever there's a user response so over here if I click on user response I can see what the user response is it's a button it's a single button sure what's the deal and that's it so that's I make it really simple I'm just asking them one question it's either they click the button to go on or they don't do anything there's no sense well I guess you could ask you could give them the option of saying no you know clicking a button no and then trying to maybe convert them some other way having another conversation like if they say no you might ask them oh well then what can I is there something I can do for you right and then ask them another question and kind of have them go down another path but for me I just did you know what what the only reason I'm popping this up is because I want to get a sale so I'm not going to ask them to it's either they're interested or not I don't you know it's not that I don't care but in my marketing I'm like okay I don't really care really I just want to know if they're interested or not so then it gives them that then it goes to the next one right here yes I want to know which again says okay great right then it says what if I could get this course for price 75 I can all only offer it right now if you not get away from this page you may never see this deal again would you like to have the coupon so then I then I ask them again so it makes basically making some engagement with them right so again I ask them again it's the same thing it's just a single answer for sure or they're not they just they're going to close the browser anyways and then uh you know you could you could add a no there and then maybe offer them another coupon that's even better than 75 but that feels dirty to me right it feels like a dirty salesman or whatever right it's it's either a deal or no deal it's not a bunch of different deals depending on what you do uh but that's and then that's the same thing and then over here I got the yes I want the deal in this case I'm going to say fantastic by the way my name is John Sears and I created this course because it's such a great deal I will ask all I ask is you to have your name and email to join my email list you can always unsubscribe later so basically I'm in this case I'm giving them the deal but I'm asking them to join my list as well because I created the course you don't have to do that obviously um and then I ask them their name and then the user response is going to be a first name because you can choose a type here you can have different things first name last name password address custom text email address full name mobile number right and then you have testing and there's different things I got I did other training on how to do all this but that's basically it if I close this the next one is ask then I ask them for their email fantastic their first name shows here right because they they answered they told me what their first name is so now I can put it in the text to show them I know who they are right so what's your email again I asked them in this case I'm asking for their email address uh, let's close this and then finally at the end I, I have their email and I give them the coupon which is 75 bucks coupon and then a link as well they can just click the link to actually order the course at that price and that's it but the other thing too that happens is there's in the, in the settings because I've ad asked their email I can actually have an integration with my email provider right here so under here the block that's capturing their email address is called ask email I gave it a name called ask email I'm integrated with Aweber and I have an email list called I have a bunch of email lists but I have an email list called introduction I'm a sub, whenever they put their email in there it automatically subscribes them to that it doesn't there's no other additional feature it's just an automatic thing depending on how you got your email set up though you might they might receive a please confirm your or your request to join this list right they might get that uh to disable that you need to request uh what they call 
an API removal thing if you have questions about that let me know I can help you with that um but yeah so then there's goal settings and uh, I'm gonna say got email is what I want I'm gonna I forgot about that I guess I'll save this and launch it and so yeah so that's basically how you create a bot and no now how do you add it to the course yeah let's go let's do that so if you're on here you want to register an account first of course but if you're you got an account you'll be able to log in I'm just going to get my where's my email right here and if I edit this course there is a place in the course where you in under uh header code you put a bot conversion bot id for the student or for the course itself so if I go back to conversion bot right here in the uh, for each of the bots there's going to be a publish and down the bottom you'll see the bot id right here so that's the bot id and I put that in whoops yeah let's close that I put that here in in the conversion bot id and that's it and then I just save it and that's it then it's in the course and the and then I then the coupons are the same here if I see how I got the 75 buck coupon is 75 dollars and I got these other coup other coupons um so yeah so that's how you create a bot for your website and how you set it up on your courses and on your blog on your blog actually let's show you on the blog how that works um I'm just wondering I'm not logged in let's go over here so this is my blog let's just minimize that over here I guess I was on the map there eh? okay if I go to the blog right the blog is similar there's a but there is a they do have a plugin so if I go to plugins uh conversion bot there's a conversion bot plugin and in here I can actually set the bot that I want to use which is this one and it's again the same thing if I go to the if I go to here in here if I go to my bots you're going to see that uh, my main bot here <coughs> uh, actually that's not the one I don't think yeah that's not the one uh, let's go back to here my blog I think I put that in here is that the one so m7 yeah so that's the one here that's the blog that's the bot I have on my blog again it's the same thing so whatever I'm asking here right that's the that's what what they're getting whether they whether and, and you know you can make the bot more complicated less complicated whatever you want but in my case I'm making a bot that I want to get them to have this ebook right so they're asking for the ebook or not and I'm kind of showing them how to get to that and this this page here can show you can see that this is a simple pretty <coughs> pretty simple bot uh I'm welcome I say yes they have time then I ask them what they're what they're looking for then depending on what they're looking for I give them an answer and then I send them to the same thing no matter what they answer right then I talk about my 12-step ebook and then I ask them if they want it and if they're not interested then I ask them if they want to rate and then I go to the end right and that's kind of how I do it that's a basic bot for my uh for my blog so that's and then how do you add it like I said if you go to your you can have the you can add you can add it here or if you go if you don't have that and you just have where is it is it here settings headers if you don't have the chatbot plugin you can just add it to your header right you can put it in here and on the chatbot if I publish if I go to publish you'll see that there's code right here right this code here let's reset this reset this so this is a code here that you can actually just put right on your page in your header that's what I was saying if you have access to a website that allows you to put your header and footer or your code whatever like like this code that I have here for Facebook pixel and Pinterest and all this different stuff I can actually add it in here right like that and this will be the exact same this will also give me the button I'm not going to put it in because I have the I already have the plugin so I'm going to take that out but that's how you do it on your blog if you don't have the plugin or on another website if you have access to the header code so that's, that's as simple as that is that the best chatbot for your site I don't know I'm not saying it's the best I don't know what's the best but it's definitely the one I like I've been using it 
it's got an it's even got an affiliate program so when you go to info let's just go back to here uh let's see where's the chatbot thank you course chatbot here so I mean when you go to my info.com my conversion bot you're actually going to get to the page that they promote the course for right so this is but the thing is that they actually have an amazing affiliate program so anybody who joins and gets the bot through your link which is as simple as going to do I have it I have it in other trainings and if you're interested in learning about it then then let me know I can certainly give you more details about that but it's as simple as uh getting it here and it's like 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 I said it's a crazy deal look it's it's not 500 dollars it's it's like let's go what, what is it it's uh it's not 97 right you get that you get that where is it where is it where's the price 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 right here 27 look at that it's 27 I don't know if it, they still have that price right now or 37 dollars for conversion bot pro I don't think I I don't know which I yeah I definitely got the pro for sure yeah it's got little extra things on it right multi-site license unlimited chat bots uh yeah I definitely have pro for commercial license you can sell your bots you can add your to external websites you don't control your oh yeah that's a cool thing you can actually if you're trying to build a bot for somebody else you can actually show them what it looks like without even adding it to their site yet using a link that's pretty cool so that they can see what it would do before they allow the, add it to their site right and uh and so yeah and that's kind of what the deal is with this so go to myconversionbot.com and go get your copy of this bot it's totally insane it's it's a ridiculously low price unlimited chat bots unlimited conversation well there's unlimited chat bots unlimited uh, and websites you can resell it you can build it for other people all that stuff is all possible for you and you can put it on a on a on a course site like this on Click eCourse you can put it um in the back on a on a blog you can put on your blog right on your blog at, at a, as a chat bot down there right uh you can do all that all that and just yeah so let's just uh over here there we go yeah so I mean that's what you can do with this chat bot like I said is it the best chat bot out there I don't know but it's definitely the best one that I found that I like and I'm using it and I think you should be using it too so go to info dot myconversialbot.com info.myconversialbot.com to find out more about it and get your lifetime access to it if it's still available hopefully it's still available when you hear this when you see this go to info.myconversialbot.com have yourself a great day we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.